Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Fadali and this video is about the backgrounds in CSS. Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn about the different background things. All right. These are the things that we will be learning in this video. How to give a background color, a background image, background repeat, background position, attachment and a shorthand. Without wasting the time, let's just go to the VS code and see how can we use these things. All right. So first of all, we have to give the background color, background color. All right. Okay. We have learned this thing in the last video of the CSS css colors how can we give a background color to any uh, element for now we are giving to the body element so this is how you can give background color now we have to give the background image and in background image you have to provide the url since the picture we are using is in the same folder where we have html file we only have to write its name but if you want to use the picture from somewhere else you have to provide all the path that's why we only have to write its name all right i have to change the size of the image to see the effect of the repeat and other properties as well so to change the size of the image background image you have to use the background size property 200 px this is how you can change the size of your background image now i want to use repeat property background all right first of all i just want to go with the no repeat so it won't repeat any value let me just delete the color head to see the effect of the image this is for no repeat but if i just write repeat x this is how it will repeat the value if i write y this is how it will repeat the value vertically x for the horizontal y for the vertical but if you just want to repeat uh, vertically and horizontally as well you just have to give it a value of repeat but by default it's uh, on the repeat value if you even don't give any value it will still uh, repeat the image now what we have is background background position for now no repeat okay the background position is used to position your background image for now if i want to put it onto the center this is how it will put it into the center all right we also have the other values if you want to put it on the right you can write the right all right so this is how you can position your background image okay now we have to use the background attachment property so there are different values of background attachment we have the two values the fixed and the scroll uh, let me just give it a fixed value right now copy this thing okay i am giving these values because i just want to scroll my web page okay so i think it's enough okay now you would see the difference between the fixed value of the background attachment and a scroll value okay with the fixed value your image won't move with the scrolling but if you use the scroll it will move with the scrolling all right so that's the difference between the fixed and the scroll value what do we have next so this is how it works okay these properties are not you know limited to the body element you can give these properties to any element okay for example if i just want to go with the paragraph you can give these properties to the paragraph all right you can see that you can see the difference here if you want to give it to the headline you can give it to the headline okay in the last we're going to learn about how to shorten this code to shorten this code copy this thing paste it here let me just delete these properties i just want to use this background property and i'll be giving every single value within a single line for now i just want to give it a color that would be blue and let me just delete this thing here blue color url for the image okay we have the image let me just give it a scroll property save it again okay we have the scroll property right now no repeat i don't want to repeat anything save it again okay now you can see that we don't see the repetition of the image background image and let me just put it on the fix no repeat when i'm using the fixed it occupies all the space just settle for the scroll no repeat and center okay so this is how you can shorten your code all right so this is all for this video if you really find this useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel and bye bye